Hi, this is Karen with the Kind Garden Stuff. It's been a while since we looked at the uh, warm garden outside, so I wanted to take a minute, not a minute, longer than a minute, um, to see how it's been going this summer. Right now it's about mm, 5.45 in the morning, on a Saturday morning. The sun is just coming up. <laughs> it's well, let me see. Here's a better view right there, maybe. Sun is just coming up, and it's the coolest part of the day. It's been um, low 100s during the day, so obviously I don't want to. <sighs> I don't want to do anything outside. Anyway, so um, I fed right there. Maybe what what day is today? Today's Saturday. I fed there. Thursday so there's nothing growing there but prior to that I fed on um, was it a week ago a week ago Thursday I think it was <laughs> they seem to blend into one another anyway so right now I'm going to just do a little portion not as big as that but a little portion today just to see where we're at where the worms most especially to see how the worms are because I normally don't dig. I normally just layer on top. And uh, since starting, well, this is the first summer for these worms. And I normally, um, when it gets over to over 90 degrees, I go ahead and water twice a day. Once at around 7 in the morning six or seven in the morning and again around seven o'clock at night so um right now we're not allowed to water anywhere in between i think it's 10 a.m and 7 p.m because of the water restrictions we have here in the hot las vegas desert so let me get set up and um we'll check out this little portion right here all right let me get a pair of gloves on first I'm gonna cut cut these to the ground all right All right, let's see. Okay, this is how much I've got it cut back. This is the bucket that I put, put the tops in. Because I'm going to use them to feed the worms. Okay, let me get my glove on so it doesn't, and doesn't get all mucky. I just want to check and see what the worms are like right now. Normally, I don't dig and check in on them, but I want to see what their populations are like right now because since it's been summer and, um, well, I just, well, right now, right here, you can see there's a bunch of worm castings up at the top here. So I know there's worms. I just want to see just in a small area what the populations are like. Oops, sorry. Normally I just cover over the roots, but like I said, I want to check in on them, see what the worm population is like. And there's a lot. They all look young. Now in different areas, oops, I have different populations of worms because apparently they don't move very far here since I guess they don't have to but but they're here there's not as many as I thought there would be but 
the ground is moist. Let's see. Let's say I have a good population concerning, I mean, not concerning, but since they've been through a winter, they've had time to populate. I mean, I know I didn't start with very many worms. And they had time to populate and um, even move around a little bit. I haven't done this in the rest of the area, but let me go ahead, dig all the way to the bottom just to see what it's like. Actually, that is the bottom right here. So it isn't very deep. Mm, this is the AstroTurf right here that you see. So everything that I've put in so far, they've eaten. They've taken care of. They've broken down all the cardboard, all the other food, except for, you know, stuff that lasts longer, like avocado skins. Let me go ahead and break this up so they have an easier time breaking it down, get more microbes to them. So as you can see, even being in hot weather, that they, do, they can keep worms outside. Oh, that was a bunch of worms that were in the avocado shells here. Sorry for disturbing you. The only thing I don't see are adults. Maybe they're not here. Maybe they've migrated on. Maybe they perished. I don't know. Oh, shoot. One thing I wanted to check on was what the temperature was like before I started. Let me get my temperature gun out now. Okay, so the temperature of the worms is 70 degrees Fahrenheit, 70, 71, 70, or 22 degrees centigrade. Okay, so it appears... Even though the temperature outside right now, what is it? It's about almost 80 degrees. It's 10, 10 degrees cooler where the worms are. So very manageable. Okay, so let me go ahead and feed them up. I wish I could do it one-handed. Well, maybe I can. Okay, so here's the soil. Um, what do I put first? Let me get my things ready here for them. All right, here's a handful of, oh, what is that? Just a handful of pellets, pine pellets. This is a handful of leftover, well, I got it from at my father-in-law's house. It was old um, potato something. You just add water to it. <laughs> They'll do okay with that. Okay. And here's all the cuttings. All the cuttings. Let's see if I can arrange them somehow. And all gonna be watermelon. Normally I normally I give them frozen food but these weren't frozen these are these are fresh 
Some leftovers. Yucky. Let me put these on here. They'll love this. Now this is the first time for me doing it, feeding them this way, meaning normally um, up until right there I've been putting, uh, I've been digging a little bit of their castings and putting it on top of the food, um, but this time I'm not. Okay, what do I normally do? Oh, I forgot some grit. They probably don't need this, but I gotta get rid of it. It's pulverized eggshells. I eat a lot of eggs. All good. And then put a layer of shredded paper. Oop, I don't want it that much right now. Just enough to cover it a little bit. I guess I do need more to cover a little bit. And then this is an experiment just to see if these things will grow. So two handfuls of warm chow, except this is not ground up at all. They're whole. Put a little bit more. This to see if the seeds will grow, just like all the other areas. They'll grow this way instead of putting some soil or castings directly underneath it. Now I'm going to put a little bit more to cover. And then that's it as far as the feeding routine. And then I will come back um, in a little bit and water the entire garden at the same time. And that's okay if this is sticking up. It's all right. I'll see it degrade in a, in a bit. So anyway, I'm expecting this one to start sprouting next week because usually it takes about a week for the seeds to begin sprouting and then we'll see. We'll see if this uh, begins to grow the way that I did it this time or if I have to continue putting castings directly beneath the seeds so they'll grow here, give more coverage, more um, protection during the summertime. And then also I also uh, put uh, this is a shade cloth on top, which also protects it from the sun and any birds <laughs> that might want to come along and eat the worms. Unfortunately, I do have lizards crawling around, but they, I don't, they're so small. I haven't seen them do much damage to the worm. Maybe that's why the big worms are gone. They've eaten all the big worms. Well, if you have any questions, please put it in the comments area. And as always, I appreciate you subscribing and liking and sharing if you find this of value to you. So again, thank you for coming on this journey with me.